We're in open session, Your Honor. Thank you. Please proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Witness, for how long did you stay at the Eldred showgrounds? I stayed there until May. May of which year? The year 2008. And can you describe the conditions at the showground? Uh, the condition was pathetic. Why do you say that it was pathetic? Crowded. The record didn't catch that. Did you say crowded? Yeah, crowded. What else? Oh, facilities were not enough. What sort of facilities? Toilets, water, and firewood, and also food was scarce. And how did it come that in May of 2008 you left the Eldoret showground? That was a government initiative. It came up with a with a theme that was referred to as Operation Rudi Nyumbani. And for the record, we've had this word before, but it's spelled R-U-D-I, new word, N-Y-U-M-B-A-N-I, Rudi Nyumbani, correct? Yes. And what does that mean? It means that people had to go back to their original homes since, as the government put it at that particular time, peace had already returned to most parts of Wasinigishu. Thank you. And before I deal with your return home, which I might have to do in private session, perhaps in the remaining minutes of the day, I can ask you these questions. You, you referred to, and you pointed out on the map, a police station in Langas. Is that correct? Yes. Can you describe this police station? Was it a permanent police station or a temporary uh, facility? It, it was a permanent police post, but eventually upgraded to a police station. And was this the only police post in the area, or were, were there others or other stations? At the time, of the elections, there was no other police post or police station within that area. And for the record, are we referring to the Langas area or a particular subsection of Langas? Langas area. And what was the staff complement, the police complement of this post, approximately? Well, not specifically, but there were about 20 policemen. 
And do you know who the commander of this police post was at that time, immediately prior to the elections? The person I came to realize was in charge was a person from the coast province, as his name read. And I don't think there's any issue mentioning his name in public session. What was the name of this person in charge? I think I've... Uh... If, if you cannot remember it now, we can move on. Um, if you remember it later, you can you can say maybe yes, overnight. Yes, yes, uh, yes. In the meantime, you said that it was a police post at one point and then upgraded to a station. Yes. Uh, at the time of the events we are talking about, was it a post or a station? It was a Police post. Thank you. And just before we break, uh, you, if I can just make sure I got this correctly so that I don't lead you on this. One second. Yes, I have it correctly. You say that this person was from the coast province. I see you have your hand raised. Would you like to add anything? Yes, I've remembered the name. Please tell us. He was Mr. Katana. And for the record, is that K-A-T-A-N-A? -A -A? Yes. You say he was from the coast province. Do you know what his ethnicity was? No. And besides the commander, the policeman posted there, can you comment on their ethnicity? There was a mixture. There were, there were collegians, there were lawyers, and uh, I think there were some Luos. Collegians, lawyers, and Luos, correct? Yes. And one last point before we break for the day. Uh, you say you came to know that this person, Mr. Katana, was in charge. How did you come to know that? It was that period that I went to register my grievances or to report about my house to the station. And what led you to conclude that he was in fact the policeman in charge of that police post? From the office he was occupying. You could tell, and the uniform he wore was different from other policemen. Very well. Your Honor, I see we are now past the normal appointed hour. May this be an appropriate time to take a break. I won't have very much longer in the morning. Thank you very much, Mr. Steinberg. Um, we will adjourn for the day witness, and you will return tomorrow to continue your testimony. Uh, you are still under oath, and you are still on the stand, as we say. So that means do not discuss your testimony with anyone overnight. Yes. Uh, the blinds will come down now. The witness will be escorted from the courtroom and they